What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. So I do a video for you guys. It's been a quite a while and I hope everybody's doing pretty good. This whole time that I've uh, been absent from videos, I've just been kind of enjoying it. Um, I did miss it, but I have been reefing the whole time. Um, I was cranking out videos every single weekend. Uh, every single weekend I was doing a video and I'm not saying that I'm going to start doing that again. I'm still going to, you know, enjoy my weekends and make my videos when I can. But I'm going to try to get back to that thing where I was cranking out videos. So, but if you guys miss them, uh, you guys should hit that bell notification so that when I do hit them, pit videos out, you guys will be up to date. Also, consider hitting that subscribe button if you like uh, reef related videos. I've still been reefing the whole uh, time, probably not reefing as hard, but I have been um, reefing and maintaining my tank. Um, I didn't do water changes for quite a while, but um, I've started doing those again. And uh, when I was gone, I did do a couple of coral orders, and I just wanna go ahead and show you some of those um, I got an order from SC Reefer uh, I watch his YouTube him and uh, Tristan made a coral uh, company and they sell corals I guess on the side to make some money which is a great way to support your uh, hobby addiction and so I, I went ahead and I placed a small order with them and uh, I'm gonna show you what I got <music> So as you can see the package is is pretty nice um, I didn't have any issues no leaking uh, no mess everything is uh, sealed up and packaged pretty good double bagged um, and that's the way to go I was kind of uh, wondering how it'd be you know coming from a fellow youtuber but uh, this is pretty pro in my opinion also uh, I wonder how many of you guys have ordered from them uh, I know that you guys probably order a lot quicker than I do. Um, you know, once I order for somebody, I pretty much stick with them if uh, I have had a good experience. So who do you guys order from? And uh, what have you guys been up to since I've been gone? Uh, usually you guys um, communicate through the comments. Let me know what's up. You guys hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button. Uh, and you guys tell me how everything is going. So what have you guys got new lately in your own uh, aquariums that's what i want to know um i kind of haven't been uh, on the whole youtube scene lately um but i'm getting back into that slowly and surely um but uh, check it out so far everything's really good on this order and uh definitely uh, check them out guys Of course I got some zoanthids, some pallies, and uh, I just got some more candy canes. I had a whole bunch of candy canes 
in uh, my 150 but uh, they start to die off and uh, so I went ahead and got a couple of more candy canes and hopefully these grow just as well as my other ones did um, they were they were easy coral to take care of uh, you kind of just forget them and then they just grow and develop all kinds of different new heads on them really excited about these pallies um kind of just change it up in my tank got some really colorful ones from tristan and uh, se reefer and uh really looking forward to them and i'm going to show you them here in a minute also the sticker game got some nice stickers included and uh, a nice business card And I'm just going to go ahead and re-glue the uh, pallet kind of fell off, but uh, they included some super glue, so not a big deal at all. So that's what's up there. Uh, I'd like to know who else you guys order from. Drop the comments down below. Now let's take a look at the 150. Some things have changed, and uh, I'm going to let you see for yourself. Back in the day before I was cranking out all the videos, this was my fish stock. Since then, I've lost the uh, chocolate tang um, and also my Melanaris wrasse ras um, died. It had a big bump on the side of the mouth. I don't know if you can see it. And I've had that guy for years. I thought, you know, maybe he got stung by a worm or something. But nah, man, he had a big bump on the side of his mouth. And uh, finally, one day I saw him uh, laying on the side of my tank, which sucked because I had him for years. And he's been in so many different tanks and uh, he finally just uh, didn't make it and as you can see you can still see that bump there's like a big growth next to his mouth so I don't know what happened but uh, right now my tank is without my Melanaris Rast now I really did like the Melanaris Rast because it took care of everything for me it took care of uh, you know those red flat worms it took care of uh it would eat the fire worms to kind of keep them in check um it was a great fish i do plan on getting another wrasse um i'll probably change it up instead of a melanaris wrasse i'd like to get a leopard wrasse because those things are just beautiful they're badass and uh probably do the same thing take care of business by eating all the little pests and bugs uh, but before i do that i want to show you Another phase of my tank that I've been having problems with, and that's straight up Aptasia. My tank has been getting out of control. You know, I had a bunch of Aptasia like this in my tank. And the reason why is, um, it's a nuisance and then it rapidly uh, came back. I had bought that Aptasia wand and I didn't really do it too much. Um, it did seem like it worked a little bit, the Aptasia wand. Um, I tried a whole bunch of stuff like F Aptasia, Aptasia X, Calc Wasser, but uh, one thing that I didn't do was add Nudibranch Bergias to this tank because of the RAS. So until this Aptasia is gone and under control, totally eliminated, I'm not going to add a RAS in here because I've been adding the Nudibranch Bergias and uh, they're going to take care of business. This is my tank at its worst um, and as you can see it's all over the place um, I know I can get a file fish I'm considering doing that but I think uh, I'm gonna stick with the Bergius for now and maybe start using that wand a little bit more
Now I did get these bad boys online. I did pay uh, a pretty penny for them. The wife pretty much said, you need to take care of your tank. I said, hey, I need to buy these things online. They're expensive. Um, I get no hookups or discounts like that. Uh, not like some of the other dudes. So she gave me the green light and I went ahead and placed my order. Um, so I'm going to show you these. I did have some of these in my 25 gallon lagoon um, because I had some in that tank and they're pretty much all gone. But uh, I placed a second order. This is what the slugs look like, the Bergias. And uh, if you have some, they're pretty good as long as they eat just Aptasia. Um, they have some different kind of Montiporia eating and they're pain in the butt. I haven't had any of those, but these ones are pretty good. They're small and I've been moving the 25 gallon Marine uh, Bergias over to the 150 and then I ordered these. So let's see what they do for my tank. I should have did this sooner, but I didn't because of the Melanaris Ras. I'd be taking a chance. And these things are so expensive, they're like $25 each, um, that I didn't want to be feeding my Ras um, the $25 fish food right here, each slug. So check it out. This is what they look like. Um, and I'm going to introduce them into the 150 through this acrylic. Um, frag holder that my buddy blue tide acrylics made uh right here it's a little dirty but uh i'm going to introduce them through here so they can kind of uh find their way out into the tank when they're ready usually you're not going to see these guys at in the daytime you're going to see them mainly at night but uh and they're going to be hiding all over the place right away but can't wait to introduce these guys and put these bad boys in my tank And like I said, I've been reefing the whole time that I've been gone. Uh, a lot of these Aptasias disappeared. I don't have them as bad on my tank in the in the rock section, but we'll give you an update later on. And you guys can see from yourself, we'll do a before and after. And as you can see, these little bastards took over my tank. But uh, these Aptasia eating slugs, I'm going to eat them up and uh, clear up my rock again. And we're going to be looking good. But it does feel be good being back on uh, YouTube with you guys and uh, hopefully you guys uh, let me know what you guys think, what you have been up to and uh, follow me on my Instagram 915mang. Now what I was doing here is I'm just temperature acclimating them. I took the lid off and then uh, it comes with the little pipelet. It's pretty wide if they cut it. So that way you can suck up the nudibranchs and then gently put them into your tank. Uh, they have something called high flow, low flow uh, Bergius, but I just bought the cheapest ones because that's probably a gimmick. I don't know. Um, but I showed you my tank at its ugly state. Let's go ahead and do some top down views on the 150 um, you can kind of see the little dark spots in the sand those are also aptasia but uh, this is a little bit after fast forward and uh, it's looking a little bit a little bit better than what it was um, as far as my tank goes i'm really happy with the way it looks uh, right now i have no flow but as long as i get that rid of that aptasia then i can go ahead and concentrate and start getting some more corals and maybe get a uh, leopard wrasse a little bit later. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna do that until I'm totally done with the Aptasia. I know I can get a file fish and some cleaner shrimp, peppermint shrimps. I, I just don't want peppermint shrimps. I really believe in this uh, Bergias. Um, I've seen them do great work in the uh, lagoon tank that I had, which is holding all my Zoas. And uh, I just, we'll just see it and go from there. Now, as far as corals go, um, SPS are doing okay. I have had a little bit of bleaching and die off. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, the reason why is because I straight up not testing my alkalinity. 
So what I did do, I went ahead and I did place an order for a ALK, uh, what do you call those, HANA ALK testers, um, which you can use my code 915MANG on Marine Depot and uh, get a 10% discount there. So I did order myself one. It should be coming in here shortly because I do need to start monitoring my alkalinity above everything. Um, I'm not really dosing right now. I just have calc water, and that's why I started doing water changes again. I started having bleaching on my corals, my SPS. So I said, you know what? I need to get back to the basics, start doing water changes. Now, how much of a water change am I doing? I'm only doing five gallon water changes uh, every week. So add that up. That's at least 20 gallons. Uh, and it's not all at once. It's five gallons every week. So it's not not such a big deal You know if you keep it simple you make it easy for you You're gonna do it more often if I have to lug around, you know my brook trash can container full of 30 gallons of water every time, you know, it's just a pain in the ass to do it like that and the good old five gallon Water change is good enough for me. It's easy I just mix it around, I carry a few buckets, and I'm done. So that's why I'm going back to the basics like that. Uh, obviously, it's working for me. I know some of you are going to say, that 5 gallon is not going to do jack for your tank, but we'll see. This is my tank, and I'll, I'm going to run it the way that I want. But I'm still going to keep doing the uh, calc washer. Like I said, I'm go I did order a HANA checker the alkalinity um, as I get uh, see how it goes if I like it or not I did have some test kits where you know you mix up the reagent and then you'd like color match it but I just want something exactly where I can just monitor it quick and easy write it down and be done with it clean my equipment and that's it so with that um, I'll go from there I'll just and let me know what you guys think um, if it's the five gallons is good enough or not what are some of you SPS masters doing uh, because I know you guys have some awesome tanks out there I just happen to record my and show you guys what I'm doing <laughs> One thing I got to say about my SPS, most of them are looking pretty good and that's the best kind of SPS you can get is an SPS from another reefer uh, because it makes those corals hardy uh, and when you frag on the corals are already hardy, they already can, you know, been through an aquarium, they're not from the wild and that's the way to go, aquaculture. And as you can see, my green slimer is doing pretty good. It did start bleaching on the base, but it's been like that for a while and um, it's doing okay. I mean, I don't know what what to say except I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'd hate to lose that piece, but I got some other pieces that I fragged in my tank that are doing okay. And uh, everything's looking good. I still do have a little bit of an Astorina starfish problem. It's not so uh, blade dense where they're all up on my front glass. You have to really, really look for them. I still have my harlequin shrimp in here and uh, he's been doing good he came out the other day uh, to the front of the glass telling me to feed him and so I got a chocolate chip and threw it in the tank within you know five minutes he was up on the chocolate chip and I haven't seen him since because he's still eating that one starfish and the last time I fed him was around October and I'm barely feeding them you know in January so pretty cool like I said I still have some Astorinas but not as much and as many as I did before that next piece of euphilia I got right there I got it from my buddy Tim uh, it's doing pretty good it's looking really nice 
and uh, we should do a tank update at Tim's and see what's up. Um, I have been, uh, it's been a while since I've done an update and I, I know I need to do Alan's bro brother's uh, tank and get a really good update on that one again. I know I had a lot of interest on that video and uh, it's all in the works and in the process. Well, my friends, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm curious how you guys watch it. You guys sit on the toilet and, uh, <laughs> you know, watch my videos. Because this one's a real long one. It was like 20-something minutes. And that's a long time to be sitting on the toilet, you know. But whatever, man. As long as you uh, enjoy the video, show me some love. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe so you can uh, tune in for the next one. Really let me guys know how you guys are doing. I'd like to hear your feedback. And we'll catch you on the next one, my friends. Take care.